Hi, Calculus. This is the first problem, at least in the junior book. We're looking for the limit as x approaches 4 of this function. And the function is x minus 4 over x squared minus 3x minus 4. And we're, we're, they're asking us to fill out this table of values. So what is a limit? A limit is what happens when we look at what happens to the function when we look at x values very, very close to 4 from the left and from the right. So what's close to 4? So they say, well, 3.9 is close to 4. Let's get closer. Ultimately, we get super close. This is from the left, below 4, less than 4. And from the right, we're like, OK, 4.1 is close to 4, but this is really, really close to 4. And this is approaching from the right, from values above 4. And what they're asking us to do is, is to evaluate this function at each of these x values. So take 3.9 and plug it in here. So 3.9 squared minus 3 times 3.9 minus 4. And, and that's all under 3.9 minus 4. So this is going to be a lot in the calculator, but there's a really much quicker way to do it, which is using Desmos, the magic of Desmos. So let's go over there and take a look at that. We were in the last Desmos video, we, we had already graphed this function. Now we want to create a table of values. Desmos can do it. Hit the plus. And we want a table. And we actually want the table beneath this function definition. So we can just grab it and drag it down. And now it's down here. Here's our table. And so what what were we putting in there? So x values were th um, 3.9, 3.99, 3.999, 4, 4.001. Now we're moving away from 1, 4.01, and then 4.1. So, you know, we're just like getting closer and closer to 4, and then closer and closer to 4. Okay, but nothing's filling in in our Y column. All right, well, here's where a little bit of Desmos knowledge is going to save you a ton of time. So we can click over here. We don't want to graph Y sub 1. We want to graph, we want this column to be what f of x evaluates to. We want to take this and plug it into here. And we can just have Desmos do that for us. So we're going to click over here. And I'm going to delete this y. And I'm going to change that to f parentheses of x sub 1. And whoa, Desmos just did it all for us. So it evaluated that function. Um, the key here is this little sub 1. It doesn't like it if you just have f of x. Desmos is giving you this exclamation mark, meaning it's confused. So I'm just doing command plus to make this bigger. So how do I do that sub 1? So you do, um, this, the, you do an underscore. So next to the 0, you do shift and hit the key next to your 0. And that puts you down into a subscript. And so I can say f x sub 1. So it kind of matches what's over here. I guess, what if I deleted it over here? If I just have x right there, and then I delete it there. Oh, yeah, that works too. Much simpler. Forget about the subscript. You can just do x and f of x. So all right, that's awesome. Now you don't have to do all that calculator crunching. And let's analyze it. So what is happening? What is happening to the value of the function as we look at x values very, very close to 4? Well, from the left, from less than 4, it's getting very, very close to 0.2. And from the right, from above 4, we're getting very, very close to 0.2. So it looks like the limit is 0.2. And we see that over here. So as we get super, super close to 4, the limit is, you know, this is 2, so this would be 1, 2, 3. We're dividing this into four boxes, so each of these would be like 0.5. So this is 0.2. But we can see it in our table. We don't even have to read the graph. We can just tell the value of f of x, f of x is getting very, very close to 0.2. So there you go. You can use Desmos to uh, save you all the calculator crunching and create a table and evaluate your limits using a table. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.